talking live from the ISS NASA space station crew discusses life in space with students and educators if you're like me uh, astronaut fail researcher you've probably seen this clip if not uh, if you believe like really in NASA and what they put out maybe you can explain this to me um, look here just look he grabs absolutely nothing with his left hand put it in its in his right hand and put it away but the best part is here when we zoom in on his reaction when he realizes he screwed up and he looks at the screen and he looks at the uh, film camera crew and he like that yeah yeah i fucked up yeah yeah i fucked up look at his face he's like oh, i put the, put it on the shelf here and uh, yeah i fucked up i'm i'm sorry guys i fucked up again <laughs> So how do they do this kind of? I think it's uh, with these augmented reality contact lenses. This is what I think uh, is happening, and this is from Leap Motion. This is just a private um, private firm. So let's see. This is a VR headset, so it's not uh, uh, contact. But this is what. It, look at that. Yeah, this is uh, the astronaut wears uh, contacts, and that's why, like with every computer program, sometimes it uh, glitches. And this time he thought maybe he saw saw that uh, blue hat or something like that. Yeah, but I think it's augmented reality contact lenses. How they do stuff like that? And this, uh, yeah, and this little red thing just pops up out, out of nowhere. This is uh, the ESA for like for kids. So she's talking for several minutes, and then this thing just pops out out of nowhere, and then she grabs it, and then she plays with it. So was it sitting there the whole time? Like, come on. That's um, clearly been edited in. Layer on top of layer. Layer on top of layer. Can you see where I'm going with this? And I'm not saying like everything is fake. They get like 52 million dollars a day. Oh, this guy just pops out uh, out of nowhere. Like, hello! <laughs> to me, this uh, whole... Um, w w the guy with the green shirt, when he grabs nothing and puts nothing on the shelf, it's like when 9-11, when, when they found the hijacker passport just outside on the street. Let me show you. And the evidence literally fell into the FBI's lap. That a hijacker's passport was found blocks from the World Trade Center crash site, if you can believe that. Yeah, just blocks away from the 9-11 crash site, if you can believe that. No, I don't believe that. <laughs> so, I, I just wanted to show you a few clips. I could do this all day. Now it's only been like, what is it, like four minutes, four and a half minutes. But I could show you like thousands, hundreds of these clips when NASA fails. And here we have ESA British astronaut Tim Peake gonna do a backflip. You hear that sound? Dunk! And then it falls down. 
So what's uh, going on? Are they uh, are they screwing up on purpose uh, to like leave breadcrumbs so they can lead us in the wrong direction? Huh? I don't know. I just w find this info and put it up. So if you're so smart, why don't you tell me what's going on? How it's like, explain what's he grabbing and what wh what's happening there. If you believe NASA, if you believe the ISS uh, truly is up there spinning around, uh, maybe there is something uh, up there that's... <laughs> I don't know. But they're clearly faking a lot of th things. Okay, a lot of things. So, yeah. Leave a comment or yeah, or just don't just uh, take this video and um, just uh, like exercise the thought. Maybe NASA NASA is lying to you, to all of us. Maybe they're doing something completely different. Maybe they are trying to get to other lands like Mars, but it's like in a totally different way than they're presenting to us. So, yeah. Yeah, take care. I'll give you a trial and I'll show you just how bad it is.